If classical physics is an approximation of quantum physics we should be able to take an everyday object that has energy and momentum and explain it using quantum mechanics. Take an everyday dog for example. All we would need is an objective understanding of quantum physics to explain the energy and momentum of the dog. This video can do this by explaining quantum mechanics as the physics of time as a physical process with classical physics representing processes over a period of time as in Newton's differential equations. Take a dog that is sitting down as the seconds pass by. It remains in the same positions in space, but seems moves continuously through time. This would be easier to understand if we could see a larger part of the electromagnetic spectrum. If our eyes were more sensitive to the different wavelengths of light we would be able to see that everything is radiating light relative to its energy or temperature. Even the dog is radiating electromagnetic light waves relative to its temperature. Because the universe is never at absolute zero this is a universal process of energy exchange that forms the ever-changing world of our everyday life. In classical physics we measure this process as a period of time with a future relative to the atoms of the periodic table. In quantum physics this process that is formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light forms the uncertainty known as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. In this theory this represents the same uncertainty we have with any future event. With the Planck constant being a constant of action at the smallest level of the process that forms the continuum of time. The universe is a continuum with an emergent future unfolding with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment relative to the energy and momentum of each object. The future only exists as a probability wave function. Just like any other object in the universe a dog will form its own future relative to the energy and momentum of its actions. In this theory the parallel universes of string theory are just potential future possibilities and opportunities. In this image these possibilities and opportunities are unfolding relative to the dog as a process of energy exchange in our one three-dimensional universe of continuous change continuous creation. To explain this further we have to use the time dilation and idea of individual reference frames that we have in Einstein's theory of relativity. In the theory of relativity we have a single process with space and time fused together with matter and energy driving what Einstein called the bending of space and time. This theory takes this interactive process one step further extending it into our everyday life with energy and momentum slowing up the rate that time flows as a universal process of continuous creation or energy exchange. We have infinite number of dynamic reference frames continuously interacting coming in and out of existence. Everything is in the center of its own reference frame with a future unfolding relative to its own actions. There are many examples of this like, flowing water with hydrogen bonds continuously forming and breaking with the exchange of photon energy. Another example is photosynthesis with future plant growth unfolding relative to photon energy. Also we find the living cells that form life exchanging positive and negative charge across the membrane of each cell with the exchange of photon energy. In fact light or electromagnetism is not just the rule for magnets attracting or repelling, or electric current in light bulbs, it governs all atomic bonds building every molecule. And even an everyday dog will find that the wave particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons will form a blank canvas that it can interact with forming the possible into the actual photon by photon, moment by moment. If we take a dog running, the future is unfolding photon by photon relative to the energy that forms the acceleration and momentum or actions of the dog. We have a process of continuous creation in the direction of the acceleration performs the momentum. 
and because we have the equivalence principle between acceleration and gravity this can represent part of a universal process with gravity being a secondary force to the photon energy of electromagnetism. The outward momentum of photon energy forms the inward force of gravity as a process of continuous creation. This can be seen mathematically with both electromagnetic fields and gravitational fields sharing the inverse square law representing one geometrical process. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this revolutionary theory that is outside of mainstream physics.